It's Sunday. Beautiful and it's warm. And I'm going to walk down, down the street and over to a sidewalk to my mom's. Those houses with all the cars and the one across the street. I've been playing with boom boxes. You're the These are the cheapest piece of crap hey. <clears throat> Chinese I'm filming. Can make. Hear the noises fan makes? There's my brother trying to fix a multimeter. <laughs> Walking home from mom's. It's lovely out here today. Absolutely beautiful. I'm hungry and I'm tired. I live past the street onto the next street. These are called sweet gum balls. They're seed pods from the sweet gum tree, which is this tree. The sweet gum tree provides a lot of really nice shade, but those little balls, they're real spiky and they're hard. And if you step on it, you can twist your ankle pretty bad. Nasty old seeds. This, other, on the other hand, is on a pin oak. These are little balls that have insects in them. And there's quite a few on this branch. Recently I straightened up my room. I know it's a mess. But I've got things, to, laundry to fold and put away. Clothes to sort and go through. That's my room. This room used to be Scott's. It's a small room. And it is also becoming a catch-all. It has a lot of my sewing stuff in it. Like boxes of fabric and fabric there and fabric. Also a lot of books. I need to weed through this stuff as well. And there's the kitty. Then this is Brian's old room. And this is the next room I'm going to do. Wolverine. Do -do -do -do. And I think I'll move stuff around a little bit. I made a uh, little map of stuff. I do not want this to be a catch-all either. There's a lot of stuff that I need to find a place to put it and then put it in its place. And if it has no place, then it has no place to be here. There's a lot of stuff in here that belongs to Brian and some for Scott. And when they're both in town at different times, uh, they are going to tell me what stays and what goes because that's the way it's gonna be this is the sausage I'm going to make I don't know if you can read it L-U-G-U-N-A-G-A -A. Luganaga it's made from the cheeks of a pig the meat from the cheeks and neck sometimes the, the ribs but I've got the fire going when I was in North Italy uh, near Udine, and most Americans call it Udine, because that's the way it's spelled. Up in the uh, Dolomiti, the Dolomite Mountain area, where polenta is eaten a lot. And that's what I'm having, polenta and then this sausage. I attended a party where they had a barbecue and they had a lot of these circular sausages. So now I know where I can get it. An Italian market in St. Louis here. Viviano's. I can unfurl it so that it cooks all the way around. But for the most part, when they cook it, they cook it all curled up too. It just... Oh, I know why it's called this. Because that's a... Um, isn't it Luganaga is the name of a snail? It means snail. And it's curled around like a snail. Oh, see, I do remember stuff. That poor tree it has so many branches that really do need to be trimmed. Some have fallen. And I need to cut those all up, put them in boxes. <laughs> and it won't be long and there'll be greenery all over this. Those bushels will be full of leaves and be stuff everywhere. 
I'd like to be able to afford the tree service. It really needs to be done and clear poison ivy away, which I cannot deal with. I'd say it's about done. What do you think? I'll be making a, just a few tortellini. This is a tortellini. It has cheese inside. Looks like a little tricorn hat. But this side looks like Venus's navel. That's what they call them. So I'll be making a few of those and some polenta. Set the timer. Water's boiling. I'm making just a small amount of polenta. And that's what's for supper tonight. Not a whole lot was accomplished so far today. I did map out the other room so I could figure out if I can move stuff around. I am making mental note what needs to go and what I need to do. Hopefully tomorrow I can get up nice and early like I did today and start doing some stuff. Maybe tonight I'll read some of that uh, decluttering and organizing books that I got from the library so I'll be all prepared. That was my Sunday. It's still really nice outside. And uh, you never know. The weather around here can change and it does. So yeah. Catch you later. Upward and onward.